Hello everyone. Every week we tell you how to make an interesting journey around Kazakhstan and save money while traveling. Today we are going to Qizilorda and you will find out how to find Qorqut Ata Memorial Complex, what Sir Anna Obelis symbolizes, how to make a tour around the closed city of Baikonur. Hello everyone, my name is Jawad and I came from France. Hi everybody, my name is Marco, I'm Italian from Rome. Human, Iran, Canada. I'm Edward from Sweden. So guys, we are the Travel Hackers and this time we are planning a trip, not by two people, but actually four. We are going right away to Kizilorda. And it's located in kind of west? Southwest right? south of, south of Kazakhstan. Yeah, southwest of Kazakhstan. It's gonna be fun. It's going to be really interesting. Perfect. I hope so, yeah. So what are we doing there? So what do you want to do? Uh, I think we have to stay in a yurt at least tonight. Let's uh, do something. You want to see the, the small towns, right? Well, yeah. Or the main city? I no, like I, 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 actually, I want to stay outside the city. We too. Wait. Why, 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 why? What's Here is the problem? deal, guys. We have two options. We have like city and outside of the city. But it seems we're having some kind of conflict. We yeah. want to no, go. I outside. don't want to lose the chance of living in a yurt for like over a night. Okay, right? guys. So? You know what? Let's do a game. Okay. What? Yeah? What game? You know the usual thing that kids do, yeah? Rock, ah, rock paper, paper, and scissors. scissors. Okay. Yeah. And the winner gets to choose. Exactly. Okay. okay. You with me? All right. Okay. Let them be together. We are the winners always. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so the winner gets to choose. Exactly. Okay, look me in the eye. Look I'm me in the eye. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Davai. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, yeah! I'm yeah. time for that! We lost, man. So, so where do you want to go? We are going to go outside the city. We're going to go to the village. So, we're going to stay at the yurt. Oh, and you know what we can do? We can cook pesh parmak. Or we'll kill a sheep before. Oh, yeah. We, we get to choose the sheep. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, what about. We can make fire. Okay, that's a good start if we're cooking. What are you guys gonna do? Stay in a fancy hotel. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, stay in a fancy hotel. hotel. <laughs> we're gonna meet beautiful girls. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna like just enjoy the city. Ah, uh, we've been doing this. We've been doing this everywhere. So I think we're gonna have fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So money our fun is gonna be different, right? Well, right. Let's see. Let's, Let's see. see. So, all set up, ready yeah. to go. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Right. Cheers, guys. Here we go. Cheers to that. Kazilorda is a city in the south of Kazakhstan. It lies on the right bank of the Sirdaria River. It takes 14.5 hours to get to Kazilorda from Almaty. A train trip takes almost a day and costs 6,500 tenge. A flight takes only one hour and a half and costs 16,000 tenge. This time, we've decided to travel in a pleasant company of many friends. Marco and I will explore the city, and Human and Edward will go to the Qizilorda region. So we made it, man. Yep. This is Qizilorda. Yeah, guys, we just landed in Qizilorda. Uh, the sun is shining. Yeah. The temperature is nice, yeah? Temperature is okay, it's a bit chilly, but uh, I think we're gonna have fun. Yeah, you know what's the meaning of the word Kizilarda in you... Kazakh language? The city name, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I heard that Kizil is red. Yeah, and Orda, it should be like, like a place, like a central place. Wow. So it's like red place. Don't ask me why, but that's, that's how it translates. So we're gonna show it to you guys, I think you're gonna like it. Let's go. Follow us in Kizilarda. Yep. See you later. Kazilorda was the first capital city of Kazakhstan. The Great Silk Road passed through this city many centuries ago. Nowadays, the Kazilorda region is known to the whole world because legendary Baikonur Cosmodrome is located right here. The first manned space flight in history was launched from Baikonur. Kazilorda Airport is out of town. It's surprising that there is no public transport in this area which is why the local airport is a real paradise for taxi drivers. Well, let's go to look for those who want to take us to the hotel. Assalamu alaikum. Taxi center. How much? 
2000? Okay. 2000 single. Okay, let's go. Why Marco and I are going to the hotel, Edward and Human have caught a taxi too, and they are going to the first and one of the most important places of interest of the Kozelorda region, its Krokotata Memorial Complex. When we arrived, the weather was very warm in Kozelorda. It say that winters are very cold and summers are extremely hot. Thus, it's advised to go to the Kozelorda either in autumn or spring, because these seasons are the best time to explore the city and its environs. We are in a good mood, so we will have a great time today. We got to Selena Star Hotel, and staff warmly welcomed us, as usual in Kazakhstan, where people are very friendly. Edward and Human went to Kharkotata Memorial Complex and we decided to go to the monument to a Turkic poet, philosopher and composer who was a living legend. Wow! Oh man! So Marco, this nice, is Kharkotata. Oh yeah? Who's this? So Kharkotata is one of the main figures of the city of Kızılorda. Okay. So he's like... A, the main of the city. Okay. So, as you can see, this monument is about 15 meters high, yeah. and he's standing okay. in the middle of it. Okay. Can you see this kind of interesting shape? It's actually in Kazakh instrument. Oh, the typical Kazakh instrument, yeah? Kobuz. Kobuz, yeah. Yes. A mausoleum was built on the bank of the Serdaria River, where Korkut had been buried in the 11th century. Unfortunately, it was destroyed by river flow. It was decided to build a memorial complex and architectural ensemble in order to immortalize the composer. Now we are going to that place. It's really surprising that although Kozelorda is not a large popular city for tourists, pilgrims and tourists arrive here from the whole world to visit this memorial complex. Kozelorda lies on the right bank of the Sirdaria River. Of course, the embankment is the favorite place of city residents. Here you can easily realize that there is the expense of step around you and even the air you breathe is very different. Kozelorda was founded in 1820 as Akh fortress of the Kazakh Khanat. Akh Meshit means white fortress. Since that the city has been renamed four times, now, local residents call Kızılorda just Orda. Some of them use romantic name Moza Syria, which is derived from the name of Sirdaria River. It's said that Sierra land is a land of songs, tales, stories, and legends. It's fresh, my friend Marco. It is, it is. You know where we are? You know what's this? Uh, the, the, the river, you mean, right there? Yeah, that's the river, Sirdaria. You wow. know, this is the longest river in Central Asia. Are you serious? Yeah, it's the longest one. It flows through three different countries. Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and of course, Kazakhstan. Wow. Yeah, so it's... It's uh, a very long way. It's a very long <laughs> one, yeah. And you know, there's this tradition among people from uh, Kizilarda. Yeah. When uh, students, they finish school, uh -huh. they party all night, they drink, they have fun, they go clubbing. And when the, when the sun comes out, they come here, they sit down, and they just enjoy the sunset uh, yeah. here with their friends. Wow, it's amazing. If they've seen the sunset here after fighting, they feel that already they're 
grown up people. Oh my god. They're adults. I feel like you're already part of Khazilorda. Exactly. You already know the place. And they can it's face so cool. they can face real life. You yeah. know? So it's cool, right? Nice place. Feel the fresh air. Yeah, let's continue to walk. Finally, we got to Kharkotata Memorial Complex and Architectural Ensemble. It's amazing! It stands in a huge area and there isn't only the monument to the philosopher, but also a real amphitheater and the Finker Museum. One day isn't enough to enjoy this beauty. So you should keep that in mind and spend a few days on exploring this amazing place. Fortunately, they are considerate towards tourists and there is everything for tourists can need including a hotel and restaurant not far from the memorial complex. There is a legend about Korkut and it lives on. This legend has it that Korkut couldn't put up with the fact that he would die and all his life tried to find a way to avoid death. He wandered around forests and fields trying to find eternal life. During one of his journeys, he made an unusual musical instrument, which later became known as Kobuz. While wandering, Korkut realized that there was nothing eternal on Earth. Finally, he put up with the fact that he would die and live the rest of his life playing the kobus and composing wonderful music. Before he died, he asked to put the kobus on his grave because he didn't want to be a part with this favorite musical instrument of his. He left a lot of pieces of music, which are still popular in Kazakhstan. The legend about Korkut is wonderful because thanks to his art, he managed to become immortal. We like the Singing Pipes monument having unique construction most of all. When a strong wind is blowing, the monument produces sounds similar to Kobo's sounds. You even can imagine Korkotata playing his music on the bank of the Sirdari. The Pyramid of Wishes is another unusual construction of the memorial complex. It says that you should circle around it three times, that you can take your shoe off, enter it and ask the sky to make your dreams come true. We did it and now it's your turn to come here and ask to make your dream come true. You shouldn't doubt that your dream will come true on Holy Sierra Land. By the way, the admission to the complex is free. Kazakhstan State Symbols Avenue has been opened to the Sirdaria embankment recently. Marco and I were impressed with the large-scale demonstration of the state symbols. I think Kazelorda residents are real patriots. They often come here to take photos with such a beautiful background. This region having rich history is also known because there is the world famous Baikonur Cosmodrome right there. You can make a unique excursion in Khazalorda. Local travel agencies offer tours of Baikonur close town. It takes only four hours to get there from Khazalorda. You should book the tour two, three months in advance. You will need to receive a special permit and approval to get there. It's possible to do it online. The price of the tour space town is almost sky high. The two-day tour cost about 150,000 zengi. But then you will be able to see a rocket launch and visit the Cosmonautic Museum there. Sir Anna translates from Kazakh as Mother Sera. This obelisk symbolizes love and kindness. It's 39 meters in height. The obelisk is in the shape of Sakele, which is a wedding headdress of a bride and symbolizes the image of a woman and mother. We strongly recommend you going up the observation deck, which is at the top of the obelisk. If you do it, you will be able to see the city from a bird's eye view. However, first you will have to test your strength and go steep stairs. By the way, there are a bit more than 100 stairs there. Telling the truth, we've decided to save our strength because we are going to work for many hours more.
While Marco and Jawad are having fun in the city, we continue our journey. We've been traveling for a very long time and don't know where we are now. You can see what's going on. The weather has worsened, it's snowing and very cold. We even envy our friends who have remained in Qizalarda city. While Edward and Human were in the Qizalarda region, we continued exploring the city and approached the museum. It's Qizalarda Regional Local History Museum, and its building is an architectural monument of the 20th century. The museum contains ethnographic collections, ancient jewelry, and collection of rare books and manuscripts. This religious building is well known to all the city residents and visitors because it is situated in the center of Qizlarda and is the oldest architectural monument. It was built in 1878. Local residents provided money to build the mosque. Ait Bai, Balta Baif, merchant from Bukhara, was the originator of the construction and the mosque was named after him. Hello beautiful people, this is your French guy Jawad and if you want to be as lucky as I am right now, come to Khazar Arda, you should check the Mejid, which is the mosque and this mosque is the Ait Baya Mosque. It's in the main center of the city. Uh, the most important thing, this is a holy place as in all other holy places, you should turn off your phone. That's the very important thing. So in order to show respect to the people praying in, uh, in the mosque. So don't forget about it, it's very important. And just enjoy the mosque because it's very beautiful. So we're going to this market now, I've heard about it before, where they sell this um, sheep, lamb, gold. Live. Live, really okay. live. So let's do something. We go there, this place, and uh, we buy one. But I'm very curious to see like how they do, how they work over there. Well, uh, I'm sure it's all gonna be... Uh... Like, do they have places they keep these poor animals over there? Well, Why? I can't imagine they're roaming around freely. Oh, man. And then Slaughterhouse, probably. Not yeah. gonna watch that. No. Not gonna watch that. The taxi driver didn't seem to be happy that we were the passengers. He said that there were really search markets and added that we should pass by one of them. We couldn't miss this opportunity and asked him to stop right there. After that we left the mosque, we decided to phone our friends. They are out of town and we wonder how they are. So, did you call the guys? You want to call them? Yeah, of course. Yeah? All right. Let's check if they are alive or not. Well, I think so. <laughs> well, I hope so. Hey, guys. Yep, this is Marco and Jawad. Yeah, it's me, Jawad. How are you? Uh-huh. Ask how's the weather. <laughs> Marco is asking, how is the weather? Are they freezing? Are you serious? It's snowing. No. <laughs> it's snowing. Look at this. For us, yeah, it's okay, it's a bit chilly, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Tell them it's summer here. It's yeah. summer, Marco is saying summer. Yeah, it's a bit chilly. Yeah? Okay, then enjoy the snow. Yeah, don't keep freeze, don't freeze. Don't freeze. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, bye, bye. So they're freezing? Yeah, they have snow there. <laughs> Too bad for them. <laughs> We're enjoying the nice weather. We've been Lorda. lucky from the very beginning, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We were so happy to go to the market where local residents buy sheep. It's so exotic. We're going to talk to some sellers to find out information about nuances of buying such unusual goods. So I guess they are sheep? Yes. How much does it cost? Oh, it depends. We sell some of them for 15 to 45,000 tenge. So they weigh them and the price ranges from like 15 to 45. 15 to 45. So when buying sheep, you should pay attention to their teeth. Young sheep have small and white teeth. While old sheep, teeth are big and dark and they can be toothless too. As you understand, it's better to choose a young sheep having good teeth. Its meat will be tender but its price is higher. It is necessary to examine a sheep and don't be afraid to touch its rib. You should touch them with two fingers. If you can feel its ribs, it means that the sheep is thin and there won't be a lot of meat. 
If you can feel its ribs, there will be a lot of meat, so you should buy it. The average price of a mutton is 1,200 tenge per kilogram. If you decide to buy a whole sheep, its price will depend on the weight of the animal. When walking around the city, we approach another important place, the Glory Memorial, dedicated to the memory of those who died during the Second World War. It is in Takzim Square. Takzim Square translates from Kazakh as a bow. Newly married couples come here on their wedding day to bow to the soldiers who died in the battles. So guys, this is a very important place in Kislorda. We're in the main center of the city. And why this place is famous among uh, local citizens? Uh, that's because uh, young boys, they used to gather here uh, to go to, uh, to war, to fight. They were joining the army, they would gather here. Uh, around five minutes away from this place, uh, there is the train station uh, from which the trains with these uh, young soldiers would leave Kizlarda and go to war. Local sellers gave us a lot of new and useful information and we are starting considering what to do with a ship. So, we got them, huh? We got it. <laughs> what are we going to do with that one? <laughs> well, now we're going to cut it. I think you're, you're going to be the one cutting it. Just don't even think about it, okay? I'm not going to even watch. I'm sure you even have some experience. No, nah, come on. Yeah, of course. It's easy. But you you know, just start from here and then Do it ahead. then. Do it. Why not? No, but... Uh, start from where? Show me. Show me. Yeah, you're going to just start okay. here and then all the way uh, here and then... Hey, okay. seems like you know that. No, but I can show you. I'm not going to even watch, okay? I don't want to be any part of... I don't want no, to be okay. in this. In all honesty, I heard they have the service here where the imam cuts the thing and okay. uh, takes yeah. care okay, of it. Okay, you go there then. Yeah. I'll stay here, you right stay? here. I'll be here. We've argued about it and finally decided to buy some meat at the market and then cook dinner. Actually, we haven't eaten anything during the whole day. While Human and Edward were at the local market, we decided to visit the only Orthodox Church temple in Qzalorda. It was opened in 1855. First, there was a marquee, where Orthodox Christians gathered and only five years later, a real church was constructed there. It was built using burnt bricks, which were beautiful yellow. Now the temple is on the list of the main cultural and historical buildings of the city. The taxi driver told us that we could rent a yurt not far from the market. You reckon we can spend the night here? We can ask. Ah, oh, these over there too. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh. Thank you, lady. Ah, nice. A yurt is a traditional portable dwelling oh. of nomads. It's called a house having no corners too. It's easy to dismantle and rebuild a yurt in another place. A Kazakh yurt has wooden framing covered with felt. Thanks to it, it's cool in a yurt on hot days and warm and dry when the weather is cold. The yurt is decorated with various felt objects inside. There are carpets, pillows and covers. Everything in the yurt is decorated with Kazakh national ornaments. In Kizilorda, people pay respect to the deeds of local Batirs, who protected the land from enemies' attacks. Batir translates from Kazakh as a hero. We saw about five monuments to the heroes in the city. So, my friend Marco, you know what we should do? Who's this guy? He is one of the Batir, one of the heroes of Kazakhstan. Ah, Batir is like a national hero, right? Yeah, like yeah, a warrior. Yeah, one uh -huh. of the warriors. We've seen many of them right in the city today. And I think we should try to remember all of them. Ah, uh, okay. I you remember start? one, Jean Koja, Batir. Yeah. 
and kelmin biet batir. Nice. I have, uh, but this one, kubalander uh -huh. batir. There is one is bukharbai batir. Okay, okay. And jalantos. Jalantos? Yeah. Man, you're great. Give me With four, Kazakh give names. me five. Good job, man. Yep. Of course, it was difficult for us to pronounce the names of all the Kazakh batirs. Believe us, these heroes did many brave deeds for the sake of their homeland. It's the reason why local residents pay them respect and honor their memory. You're a bit cold? Yeah, I think the, the, the floor is a little bit cold. Yeah, they don't have Go floor heating. Yeah. Go fix that thing. Right, I think uh, we need to put on the fireplace, but I don't see any wood fire in here. You can go ask. Let's go look for Let's it. Let's go check it first. We've got to cut down a tree. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. What else are we going to do? During our journey, we experienced nomadic life. We got cold in the yurt and went to look for logs for the oven. This is it. These are not firewood, man. Firstly, they're wet. You go there, ask them to give us some stuff, okay. right? For those who like exotica and adventures and are kind of tired of hotel services and comfort, can enjoy the environment and friendly tourism as we did. Now we are confident that there are a lot of conditions for it in Kazakhstan. When you arrive here, you can live in a yurt and find out about local customs, way of life and traditions of the Kazakh. We faced a lot of difficulties and then realized that we wouldn't be able to cope on our own. We went to the yurt owner and he kindly gave us some coal. However, we will have to light fire in the stove and cook dinner on our own. Yeah, it's good for tonight, huh? Gotta it's keep enough. the place. That's enough, I guess, huh? Need help? No, good. Ooh. I feel good yeah. right now. It's getting warm. You can cook Beshbarma Kazakh national dish with mutton. The recipe is quite simple. The most important is to make tasty stock. We put the meat, carrots, onions, and spices in water and cook the meat until done. When the meat is done, we take it out to the saucepan. Remove the bones and cut the meat into pieces. Then we boil pieces of dough in the shape of rombi in another saucepan. When they are done, we take them out, then cut the onion into half rings and put it in a dish. After that, the hot stock, bowl, dough, and meat are added. Our dinner is finally ready. So, you want to start? start Let me help food. you out with this. Uh, you got a piece yeah. of wonderful ribs. Give me the rib. Ah, give me your plate, actually. It's kind of right. So, how do you like it? Let's try. Yeah? Cheers. I feel dead. This yeah. is why they put this table next to these pillows. You sleep over here? Yeah, I I'm can gonna, even I'm crash in the bed for the night. Yeah, just don't talk. No, oh, don't snore. Leave me alone. After an interesting and long walk in Kozorda, we decided to have dinner and went to a cozy cafe, Tubitieka. It seems good that the weather was so unpredictable today. Thanks to it, we experienced the charm of living in extreme conditions. We felt that we were real nomads and had every reason to be proud of. We realized that we could succeed in various things. Well, I don't mean the problem we had with logs right there. After we had such a tasty and filling dinner, we decided to walk a little and visit the central square of Kozolorta. This square is local resident favorite place for walks. There are wonderful fountains which help to avoid intense heat in the summer. And this is the end of Kozilorda. Yeah, the, the adventure in Kozilorda came to the end. Yep. Yeah. So you guys, if you come to Kozilorda, come have fun, come visit the beautiful monuments and its beautiful people too. It's such a nice city. I think it's must see to see in Kazakhstan among the other cities. And I think we'll come back sometime, but only when it gets warmer. Yeah, right? in summer, in summer, yeah. Okay, we're good? Okay, we're fine. Bye -bye. See you later, Ciao. guys. Ciao. During our tour, we spent 
trip to Kozelorda, 16,600 ting. Taxi fare, 2,500 ting. Accommodation, 6,000 ting. Your rent, 5,000 ting. Meals, 3,500 ting. In total, each other spent 33,600 ting in Kozelorda. Our tour is over. Kozelorda is a unique city having centuries old culture. Can you imagine that caravans going along the Great Silk Road went through this place too? The first manned space flight was launched from here. We strongly recommend you visiting this unique city, which progresses, develops, and aims at new achievements like whole Kazakhstan does.